Fractions worksheet subtracting different denominators is one step up from adding and subtracting fractions with the same denominator. But it's not quite as tricky as doing the same with fractions with denominators that aren't multiples of one another. This worksheet requires learners to convert one of the two fractions so that the denominators match. For example, one half subtract one quarter. To answer this easily, we must make the denominators match. And in this case, we're going to make both the fractions have a denominator of four, because four is a multiple of both two and four. We can see that one half is equivalent to two quarters in this pictorial representation, but also if we multiply the denominator by two to reach four, we must repeat this with the numerator to ensure the fraction stays the same value, just like in this picture. Either way, we reach two quarters. Subtracting one quarter from two quarters leaves us with one quarter, and you could demonstrate this pictorially and allow children to also draw and discover the answers pictorially before moving on to more abstract methods as I just modelled. These worksheets are differentiated, becoming more difficult throughout the three levels with the most difficult sheet featuring mixed numbers. Once children have completed their worksheet, they could write their own equations to answers with their peers. If confident, they could begin to explore subtracting fractions with denominators which are not multiples such as 3 fifths subtract 1 sixth. You may also wish to begin exploring how to subtract multiple fractions from one another, such as 1 half subtract 1 eighth, subtract 1 quarter. If you haven't already, it might be a good opportunity to branch out into factors and multiples, as having that understanding makes these kind of worksheets much easier for children. Children who are particularly fluent in their understanding may be able to explain how to convert the fractions to decimals prior to completing the equation. You might even begin to explore word problems, encouraging your children to transform a select few equations into word problems to be written and possibly answered by a peer. If your children are struggling with the worksheet, however, you could help them by focusing on drawing rectangles for them to colour in and discover the answer, just like I'm modelling here. And don't forget, this is just one of many resources that would make an excellent addition to your next fractions lesson. Thank you very much for watching and have a lovely day.